Hey, some spring fling, am I right? Where were you guys? We missed you. Where is everyone else? Shouldn't the party start right about now? You know what a party is, right? Like a party with darts? Darty day party. Freshman. Okay, I gotta go run and get some paper towels because Lindsay threw up all over my favorite ottoman. Wow. <laughs> young filmmakers. The Cine Youth Festival spotlights young filmmakers ages 22 and younger. This year, there are 71 short films from 17 countries around the world. Here with details on the films and where you can watch them is festival director Ryan Saunders and director of Emergence, Ray Tang. Thank you guys for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Tell us about this film festival. How did it come about? And young people we were just marveling <laughs> yeah. at young people making movies so. absolutely yes the cine youth is a film festival put on by the chicago international film festival which is the main chicago festival mm -hmm. in the fall um cine youth is yearly this is our 17th edition highlighting filmmakers 22 years old and younger and you know every year it blows my mind because filmmakers are so media literate now younger oh, filmmakers yeah. mm -hmm. growing up with the technology so they become more professional every year it blows our mind constantly and it's something we love to celebrate just the next generation of voices yeah I, Ray, that was a scene from emergence mm -hmm. I, I, it's a 14 minute short film how long did it take you to do uh we filmed so i had the idea around june of summer last year so it took us about a year to complete it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's uh, unbelievable. And this is not your first film, though, right? Uh, no, I'm, I made a previous short film at Northwestern, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that, about filmmaking that, that inspires you, that, that you love so much about it? Uh, I think filmmaking is like, it's an audiovisual medium, so, you know, like, it, you get impacted by in a way that, like, you might not necessarily have anywhere else. Like, you know, like, I remember growing up seeing, you know, folks on screens, and that's where I felt represented, and that's where I felt seen. I mean, okay. it's unbelievable to watch the amount, because the amount of work that goes into a film, I don't think anyone who's ever tried to do anything mm. in TV and film, they don't understand. And for young people to be doing that, the technology is getting greater, the ideas are getting greater. How young are you seeing people putting stuff together? We have filmmakers as young as eight years old in this <laughs> wow. edition of Cine Youth. Okay. But it is a remarkable range. We have lots of films, college thesis films um, from you know larger productions, but we have high school filmmakers as well. And I think that's the thing that makes Cine Youth so unique. It's many filmmakers' first festival. Yeah. So we're so happy to be back in person this year at Facets. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there all weekend. Uh, that's 15, 17, West Fullerton, and we have many filmmakers coming in attendance. They'll be doing Q and A's after their film, and it's a great opportunity to see what everyone's been working on. Yeah. So, when you participate in a festival like this, what do you get out of it? Um, so much. Like we, um, I think the biggest, like the biggest point for me is to meet new people and to connect with filmmakers of um, you know similar like experiences and journeys and really get to make friends and connections along the way. I would imagine too because you probably find people who have different specialities than you do mm -hmm. so your next project you can kind of expand and make it bigger. Yeah that's the dream anyways yeah that's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> so what have some of you say this is the 17th year what have some of the filmmakers who've participated in Cine Youth gone on to do? We've had many alumni that have had success after Cine Youth, both showcasing films at our festival in the fall, and also very recently we've had a filmmaker win the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance for Ooh, his most recent okay. short film. Mm -hmm. So it's a great space to meet other filmmakers, make those connections that will last a lifetime, and collaborate beyond the festival itself. Well, because television is somewhat this way too, where it's a hard medium to teach in a classroom. You gotta get out and do it. You help those students get that connection? Absolutely. We like to provide workshops for the students as well and filmmaker networking events so they can gather, get to know each other, learn about the industry and more about how they can grow as artists. You know, I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, ask, what is your film about? Because we just saw a clip. I don't know if we got the real gist of it through that clip. Can you tell us what it's about? Sure. Uh, Emergence is about a young trans college student who um, bonds with her teammate and through that they're able to merge into their newfound identities um, you know with the whole new wave of anti-trans legislation and all the hate across the country it was really important to me and for our team to 
showcase something that celebrates love and acceptance for folks from all walks of life. That's really cool. It's, it's so wonderful that young people from their own perspective can can show things that are affecting their life, affecting their friend's oh, life, sure. and get the message out and, there. And, and help people to understand and yeah. relate. That's so cool. thank you guys very much yeah. for coming in and sharing it with us. Again, the Shuna Youth Festival, Sina Youth Festival is on April 22nd through the 24th. And as you mentioned, is at Facet, and you can get more information there at the website there on your screen. Thanks, folks. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck to you. All right. Now we're